Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a little tutorial on a seven foot grab and go garland. It was six foot, but they added a foot on at the end, but this one is a different style than I normally do. Normally I do like chunks of clusters of different colors, um, but today they requested a mix matched color palette. So I'm gonna do seven clusters and then in each cluster there's gonna be six balloons and they're all gonna be different colors. So I thought I would do this with you today. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is go in my balloon closet and get all the different colors balloons out that I need. Um, so this is a little peek at it. It goes down a little bit, but this is how I store my balloons for right now. It's the best place in my house to store them without them being out everywhere. And they're right in my living room in an area that um, I go to all the time and where we actually do the balloons. So this is the best I can do for now. Eventually I want to get like a warehouse space or balloon space or something where I can like store these better and be able to work on balloons but this is what we got for now and it works. So we are going to be using eucalyptus, fog, we need a blush, got blush, um, white sand lace and then for the for the last color I'm gonna be double stuffing and I'm gonna be using mocha in a different color blush so let's grab and here's mocha Okay, so since this is a big mix match job, I'm actually just gonna lay them, and I'm gonna blow them up right now. I'm just gonna lay them out on the end of my couch here in their piles of clusters that they're gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna start with all the big, bigger balloons and then I'll work my way to the smaller ones. So I think I'm gonna do, this is gonna be a little challenging. It was gonna work out better if I had six feet, um, but, now I have seven, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, and I'll be doing it like this. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take three 11 inch size and then three around 17, 18 inch size of each color and I'm gonna put them in piles and then I'm going to kind of like even them out if that makes sense. Some of the colors I'm gonna have to do an extra big one and some I'm gonna have to do an extra small one so I think I'm just gonna do this the last seven like it I think I'm gonna do six feet and then I'm gonna do the seven foot one last just so I can try to like mix the colors up good because I want them to try to be as even as possible um, so colors that are similar um, so like white sand and lace that I'm doing are kind of similar. So I'm going to put all the small white sand with all the big lace. And then I'm going to do all the bigger white sand with all the smaller lace color, which is cream. Um, just to try to like even out the neutral tones a little bit. And then, let's see, let's do eucalyptus. This part is gonna be the hardest part, figuring them out, blowing them up won't be as hard. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do all the small green there, and then a lot of the times I'll add in 24 inch size, but for this, since it's so mix matched, I'm just gonna do around 17, 18 inch size. Okay, so I'm doing the small green, and the big green and then now I'm gonna do the opposite with the blue and I'm gonna put the small blue with the big green and the big blue with the small green small green if that makes sense so I will finish this and then I will show you my piles when I'm done okay so here are my um, sections laid out so I've got them in piles I ended up doing four of this color combo and then three of this color size combo um, so they're all the same colors but there's different 
sizes of each in there if that makes sense because when I do the balloons I use um, different sizes to make up the bigger clusters of balloons so I'm gonna go ahead and blow up all of these and then I'm gonna go and do all the little topper balloons when I'm done because those um the way that I do it the quantities are gonna be a little more mis uh, mixed up and I'm gonna have to add extra balloons of the colors if that makes sense in there so that's gonna be a whole other mind game so I'd rather just get these blown up and then I will go ahead and do the small ones when I'm done so it's easier on my brain and my thinking <laughs> okay I'm just gonna start with the one closest to me so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a balloon like I'm gonna figure out which balloons I'm gonna put together and I'm just going to kind of separate these so I have some like neutrals and colors together basically. I just, this doesn't really matter that much because you can kind of mix the balloons up once you're done. So here is that and then I always like to do a big balloon in my right hand, a small balloon in my left hand. Um, the right side of my blower is the one you push to get the air out. So it makes it easier because then this one will blow up, I can pull it off and still be blowing this one at the same time. So. them more round, tie them together, and there's my first mix matched. I gotta take these rings off. Rings can be deadly for balloons, so um, this is the only balloon job I'm doing today, so I just put my rings earlier. double stuffed balloon you always want to grab the inside balloon and tie it to the other balloon you don't want to tie the outside one because it'll be harder to tie the balloon clusters together when you're done all right so there we have it our first mix match cluster this is like a peach color the lighting right now it's kind of hard to see but it looks really pretty I finished filling up all the big ones they look so cute I'm so excited about the colors and I'm really excited about what it's gonna look like when it's done I think it's the perfect colors to mix and match because they're like muted neutral but there's still some color in there and it's like perfect so now I'm just going to kind of like time-lapse you while I gather all these small ones and figure out the quantities um, so I have a plan of attack where I'm gonna just put one in each pile and then I'll add some random ones in at the terminal with the sun close and personal to see your face light up she's a light in the moon structure I'm not careful up by one that chasing out the sun runs from the city to Okay, so I got my piles ready and I think what I actually just decided is normally I do four and four on a cluster and I think I'm gonna do three and three. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to blow two up and like tie them together how I normally do and then I'm just gonna have to blow one up and tie it into that. So then on each cluster it'll be three and three because then all the colors will be even and it'll have the same amount of colors on every garland 
So I think I'm just gonna do that. Um, normally I have um, more of my recipe that I do and I'm trying to stick to it as much as I can, but since this is a different type of garland than I normally do, I'm gonna modify a little. But I think it'll work out great and it'll look super cute. I also just wanted to mention for the small ones, um, I'm going to be using two of these blowers. They just turn on and they're always on. But these have a really small nozzle on the top, so for those really small balloons that it's harder to get more air into easily, these work really good for doing that, especially for double stuffed balloons, because you don't have to pre-blow them up and then do it. You With double stuffed balloons, these will just blow them right up, um, and it makes it so much easier, and it's actually life-changing. So if you are a balloon professional and you don't have these, you need them um, unless you have like a super fancy blower that works but I just use the Amazon blowers my other pink blowers just from Amazon these are from Amazon and I can link them for you too um, but yeah love these so I am going to work on blowing all these little ones up and I will do a time lapse of them. don't steal a thunder wake up at the right time looking at my light on and on and on, we gotta keep it up We gotta keep it up uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Baby, take it time You got your whole life Put faith in the sky On and on and on, we gotta keep it up Okay, so now I have the balloons all laid out I did every other Because I had four of this one and then three of that one um so I did every other and laid them out out laid them all out <laughs> I did every other and I laid them all out and now I'm going to tie the necks together and butterflies I'm turning go got me spinning around like vertigo how could I feel so certain yeah so ambivalent when it's time we it's so innocent Through the sky on the back of a bed of stars Got a wrinkle going last with the laughter Super numbers blow up Gotta get a hose up Even if I host up Don't let me steal your thunder Wake up at the right time Looking at my light Okay, so now I have a long strip of all these mixed I mixed up the colors pretty well Um, from each other now I'm going to go ahead and put all the small ones on here and then it'll be all ready for her to pick up okay so this is what it is looking like it's very tall lots of little balloons around um, once it's actually on the arch and stuff you can rearrange it so it is a little more even in areas but yeah the colors are super cute um, and I really like how it turned out Okay, so this is how it turned out, super cute. Um, this peach is kind of coming up slightly yellow right now. Um, but yeah, there is another angle of it. The colors turned out so pretty. This will look so good once it's on the arch backdrops and they even it out a little bit. So thank you for joining me on this journey of making this mixed up colored balloon arch. I don't do this often. I think this is the second time I've ever done it, but the colors are super cute and it'll look really cute once it is on the arched wood backdrops that they have. They have their own backdrops and they just wanted balloons to go on them. So this will be super cute for a first little birthday. Um, if you have any other video requests, let me know and please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!